disclosure, I already loved this bike before I ever even laid eyes on it. MV's stunning rival got my heart racing and when I first heard they were considering a long-legged sport tourer with an 800cc triple, I didn't even need to hear its sublime Turismo Velos naming before I knew I wanted one. Then came the aggressively voluptuous visuals followed by a long wait between the time we shot a video of the bikes unveiling in late 2013 and this actual first ride in spring of 2015. Many of us began to wonder if the bike had been stillborn, the victim of some budget cut or other ignoble fate. Alas, our fears were simply due to our own high expectations and MV deciding to really take their time nailing their first ever touring motorcycle. Now it's time to see if that wait has paid off. MV launched three new bikes in 2015, the F4 1000RC Superbike, plus the Turismo Velos 800 and Turismo Velos 800 Lasso siblings. At those recent launches MV has also hinted that next year we'll see the debuts of four more new models, namely a revised 1000cc inline 4-powered lineup, F4, Brutal, RR variants, etc. And that's a good thing, because MV's US sales were actually down 6% for Q1 even though it has an aggressive growth target of plus 237%. So they'll certainly need every bit of new bike excitement they can muster. MV's recently announced partnership with Mercedes AIM should help them capture a portion of the additional market share they'll be needing. Under that agreement, MV will be attending slash sponsoring co-branded events with AIM, including the Roland Garros Tennis Series, the Cannes Film Festival and the UEFA Champions Cup Soccer slash Football. All of them events which cater to MV's well-moneyed core demographic.